Hello everyone, uh, it's Prat from Ratko Tarot and uh, in this whole video you are about to hear the forecast in terms of love and career as well uh, for your star sign uh, for the week 7th to 13th of September 2020. As always, if you are interested in a private reading with me, uh, you can go to my website and purchase a service uh, from there. The site can be found in the description down below and as well um, as tarot is about a, a knowledge and uh, you're interested into the knowledge and you want to get it from me uh, there are eight tarot classes available at the website as well currently for the upcoming week uh, the tarot class for the major arcana is going to be on a flash sale reduced cost with a 30 percent uh, dropping it from 150 to a hundred and ten dollars so if you are interested into that message me on my facebook page and i'm going to provide you with a link regarding the flash sale that being said lay back and uh, enjoy the show right so uh we have capricorn sun moon and as well rising on our hands and the first thing that we're going to check out for them uh is going to be about their love and relationship uh, weekly experience for the upcoming week and just let me shuffle the cards and uh, we're gonna jump right into it so uh, the first card for Capricorn that comes about is going to be the Queen of Cups uh, followed by uh, the Four of Swords uh, moving next we do have the Six of Wands uh, and the last one for their love and relationship is going to be the Three of Cups. So the week, uh, well, it does depend what kind of a decision, what kind of a uh, emotional state you are in. But uh, this is more like a uh, a guidance reading rather than a, a forecast type of uh, or fortune telling type of a, a reading for the upcoming week. And it points, uh, the whole message that really it says is that if you do express your emotions and you follow those emotions, kind of like nurture and, and um, attending to them, you are to be rewarded for it. And so that being said, you know, if you do experience love towards something, somebody, you just show it, talk about it, you know, and um, pretty much try to sustain it if you uh, if you will and that is uh, what is going to be rewarded because looking at the uh, looking at the cards here especially with the last one which is the three of cups that literally speaks that your emotional state is to be shared now it doesn't say by who okay uh, because the queen of cups it's not directed emotions toward a specific say individual like the knight of cups is queen of cups is more about the uh the necessity to for example love and feel loved who with whom with while the universe is about to bring it okay and uh, my point here is that with the queen of cups we don't or you capricorn ain't gonna have that much of a uh, a choice to decide where the love is going to come from or where the love is going to be invested in you do have only the choice should you go for it or not but with the queen of cups you don't have to fight for it i mean it's already there now again it's another uh it's another matter are you pleased with it or not and just to give you an example, what I am talking about here is say you love two people, okay? Say you do have a current girlfriend or a current wife um, and simultaneously you are in love with somebody else. And one of them, one of these two people say, I don't love you anymore. So I, you don't get to decide that, okay? And you get to choose, should you nurture the other one? Or not of course for some of you it could be quite fortunate you know it could develop exactly where you want it to uh, to develop but the bottom line is that with the four of swords guys into the uh, third into the second position I'm sorry for far too long for what it seems uh, you have kept it within yourself and even if you have said to the one you love that you do love them according to those cards you haven't showed it yet with its full capacity to its full extent and you gotta 
try to do it throughout uh, throughout this particular week. Uh, with the six of uh, wands into the uh, third position, that is only points that the more you express your emotions, the more rewards and recognition for those emotions is that you are to receive. That being said, those that are extremely single, what I mean is that they don't even have anybody of interest right now. Um, showing how lovely they are, obviously, is going to pretty much attract somebody that they can have a nurtured and uh, sustained emotions, uh, sustained emotions with, to a point where they both are going to see the future similar, meaning that they are going to see cumulative future, and therefore a possibility to commit into a um, into a relationship. So that being said, that was uh, that was your love and relationship tarot reading, uh, Capricorn. Uh, it's all about it's all about you not suppressing your feelings, but instead, you know, displaying them about. And uh, it's not exactly talking about them, but try to sustain them. Okay, don't transform love into hatred, nor the other way around. They need to be exactly as they are, and you gotta talk about them. Uh, so the other. Uh, the other forecast that we're going to make right now is going to be in regards to uh, your career. Just let me put the cards back and uh, reshuffle. Right, so the first one, wow, we have, that is to be the Hermit. And the Hermit's having it on the first position in this spread, it is one of the strongest cards you can have, okay, there. It's pretty much, a long story short, it pretty much points that whatever you are developing right now, it is, at the very least, if it is not the right thing for you, I mean under the right thing, like your calling, it will be a very substantial for your future developments as a career factor in your life. So we do have the hermit, meaning that throughout the week, you are to undertake things that will have significant positive impact upon your future development in career. Uh, followed by the Ace of Swords. Moving next, we do have the Three of Wands and the last one that is to be the Seven of Cups. So by the end of the week, you are to be quite amazed in regards to what kind of a clearance you are going to have. Now, we cannot talk about yet for a uh, achieved results. The results are going to follow further into the future. But the thing is, is that I don't know how to really explain it into English. I got to look uh, for the word that I should use. But I would try to explain it that way. Say you start undertaking something at the start of the week, a kind of a project job, regardless. And uh, you think that you can accomplish just so much in the long run, but by the end of the week, you see that actually you have undersold yourself significantly and you can accomplish so much more. And uh, you alone are going to be quite, uh, quite surprised because the uh, the prospects are going to significantly exceed your expectations uh, in a huge run. However, there are to be a few conditions. Um, the first condition it is that it will be quite challenging in a sense of that you will have to keep on learning additional stuff like skills, you know, like like knowledge, so you can keep up with the demands of the undertaking as the undertaking progress and as this, as said exceeds your expectations. For as it exceeds your expectations, is going to as well exceed um, your capabilities at the moment. But that is uh, paced in the future, so you can definitely keep pace with it. You can definitely keep up with it. Uh, the other thing, it is uh, the, um, how do you say it? When you know you can get there, but you are not exactly certain how, okay? So it's, it's kind of like uncertainty, insecurity, I would say. And, and that being said, you may kind of like um, start panicking, okay? Uh, and... Uh, make 
all of the wrong, all wrong decisions. I'm sorry for all of the wrong reasons. So for that being said, it will be very important whenever you are feeling like your backing is against the wall, like you don't know what to do, like there is no right or wrong decision or right or wrong answer, uh, it will be best if you do withdraw yourself from the ideas of the world, from the ideas of others, so you can carefully analyze, you know, um, your options available and that will allow you to choose the right direction and that is the third thing that you have to tackle now once you do choose your right direction there will be far few people to support you in it most of your so-called supporters are gonna abandon you for a reason it is that now you are moving into uh, your goal and your goal is not their goal Okay, so you have to learn to lose, I can't even say support, let's say followers, okay? But the reasons are gonna be right, so you lose them. It's not even lose them, it's more like a, kind of like they're dropping off, that's not a loss at all. And yeah, by the end of the week, you pretty much are going to be quite surprised how far you can reach with, uh, with that job, with that project, uh, with that endeavor itself, obviously, a very good reading for those that are starting their education. Uh, that means that whatever they have signed for, it will be very substantial. I, I mean, that will be their thing, okay, for their career developments in their life. Uh, you can't have it in a, any better time, that kind of a reading. For now, it's when, um, you know, the education, the educating season starts. Those that are jobless, it's uh, very likely that a job is to come on the horizon, that they are to be quite reluctant taking, but that will be in fact a very significant piece of their career development in the future. Not the only one, but they will help themselves tremendously if they take it. So that being said, Capricorn, I, this was your weekly general tarot love and career reading. So hopefully you do enjoy them and you do like them and uh, we may see each other next time. Until then. Bye.